Hi and welcome back to Bill's Cichlid Room. I've been moving some of the grow outs around here onto other tanks to grow out. So I've actually got two empty tanks. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to empty out the tanks, clean them all out, fill them up again and go on a little road trip to a couple of fish shops. These are the two small tanks that I've actually moved the fry out of uh, into the grow out tanks. So I'm going to empty these out, clean them all out, uh, which is what I normally do actually uh, when I've moved some on. I just scrub the whole tank out and start again from scratch. Uh, they've both got the sponge filters in as you can see, so they're still going to be mature. Got it. Here's a load of them, so these are Steph's dolphins. So they'll grow on nicely now in this tank here uh, ready for the next lot of auctions which start in november for the northwest cichlid group so it's the dolphins that she's moved in there uh, and a load of the the, the bristle noses yeah so, so these all come out of one of the tanks and the other ones within the kiraga gwens uh, if you can make them out in here so there's a load of cutter eye growing out in here as well, uh, and the, the Nicaragua Gwens, so I think there's about 40 or 50 of them all together. Let's see if we can get a close up of them. The glare's terrible on this tank. <laughs> yeah, I think you can see them, that there is quite a few of them going around. Yeah, it's the two tanks, so I've emptied them out, so I've scrubbed them out. Um, yeah, so ready to put the water in. I uh, just noticed actually the paint's looking a bit flaky in there. So, Paul, if Joe's not doing anything at the weekend, if you want to send her down with the paintbrush, <laughs> uh, but let, let's get them filled up and then, yeah, let's see what happens. Oh, well, there we go. The tanks are all cleaned out, all filled up. Uh, Heat is switched on, filter's working. Uh, the temperature, if you can see, has gone down to just above 20, so that would take a couple of hours to warm up. So yeah, just enough time to get off to the fish shop and uh, let's see what they've got. Um, yeah, the, the, on the list, the, 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 the shops I'm thinking of going to, they, they haven't got any uh, American cichlids that I'm aware of. Um, but yeah, quite interesting, uh, they, they, they've got some tetras, pencil fish, there are a couple of apistos. So um, yeah, let's go and have a look and see what we come back with. First on the shop visits today is Aqualife in Labold by Chorley in the Northwest. If you've never been to this shop, it is well, well worth going to. Uh, as they say, it's run by hobbyists for hobbyists. Yeah, so it's it's run by Steve Spencer, who's also the, he's the chairman of the Preston and District Aquarius Society. Um, the, there is lots and lots of different tanks that he's got in the shop, uh, but it's one of those shops that you've got to go and look in every single tank because you'd always see things that you don't expect. Uh, these caught my eye. These are Epistogramma Elizabethae, which I must admit I've never seen in a shop before. I was really tempted to get a pair of these, but yeah, they're, they're quite pricey. It, it was um, they were about seventy pound for the pair, which. Considering that Elizabethae isn't too bad, really, because you never see them. Um, this is another tank that I was looking at uh, with a, with some epistogrammas. Uh, I actually got a pair of these, but more on that later on in the video. And uh, I actually uh, got that piece of wood as well um, with, with the plants on it. Uh, they were going for a really good price. So, yeah, I got some of those. So, yeah, just a quick look around some of the other tanks uh, and, and what he's got in them. Uh, yeah, he did have quite a few uh, epistogrammas today. Um, yeah, he had the uh, the, the red uh, pencil fish, the purple pencil fish, um, and lots and lots of other little bits and bobs. But the, as you know, I'm just looking for a couple of um, a couple of species to put into the little tanks uh, as little breeding projects. Uh, this is some of the other things that he's got in the in the shop. Uh, th these are little nano tanks, so it gives you loads of ideas if you wanted to set up, set up a nano tank and some really unusual species as well. Yeah, so th really recommend it. Um, one of my favourite shops to go to actually. The only downside is they don't sing, <laughs> they don't do any uh, Central American cichlids. <laughs> um, well, very few anyway. Um, yeah, well stocked with all all your decorating stuff. Um, cold water fish at the back there. 
Um, yeah, the, the good selection of tanks with the full setups with the stands and the lights. Yeah, so well worth a look if you're ever out in that area. Yeah, we are lucky in the northwest. Uh, the number of fish shops that we got, good quality fish shops as well, like all within an hour's drive. Next up on today's tour was Pier Aquatics, which is about 20 minutes drive away from Aqualife. Um, this is my me, me most favourite South American cichlid. Uh, I have kept these in the past, but not for not for a long time. Um, yet they've had these in for quite a while. It's the Uaru Ferdinand Lezepi, or the Panda cichlid. Uh, fantastic fish and a fantastic group that they've got. Um, they're about eighty pound each. That, that's the only problem. So to get a group of them would uh, would cost quite a lot. Um, good selection of tetras in here today. Um, these are the Coletti tetras. So I actually got a small group of these um, as a breeding project. But again, Pier Aquatics. If you've never been, fantastic shop. They do specialise in South American fish, um, like all your L numbered plex, your, your Corridorus, your tetras. There's always a wide choice. Um, yeah, well worth going. Well worth uh, having a look. Oh well, we're back from the fish shops here. Uh, as you can see from the footage, we went up to um, to Aqua Life and Laybold, and then across to Wigan Pier. Uh, so yeah, the, I've actually the, I got three new species of fish, and only one of them is a cichlid. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll show you which ones I've got. Yeah, so I've just put them into acclimatised at the temperature. Uh, did a little bit of aquascaping. Uh, so I put some sand in, a uh, little flower pot. And I actually got this uh, piece of bogwood with a, with two plants in it from Aqualife for a really good price. So I thought, yeah, that that would look really nice in a in a little nano tank. And um, anyway, the species of fish that I've got, if you can see the bit of tank. Uh, so it's an epistogramma species, epistogramma pantalone, which look uh, quite interesting. A um, little bit of reading up on them on the way home. Um, the, the one of them, the, the occasional mouth brooding uh, epistos, so they'll be quite interesting. Uh, I'll let them settle down and then get a bit more footage. Um, the other ones I got, I got. I got two pairs of Coletti Tetra. And again, these are from. Uh, the, from South America so they, they should go quite well with the epistos. Uh, good community fish I believe, I've not kept them before so I'll do some reading up on them and um, yeah, do, do a species profile on them no doubt at some time. So yeah they, they should go really well in that tank. Uh, the other ones which is a little bit different for me again, um, some rainbow fish. Um, so these come from Australia and Papua New Guinea. Uh, it's the Skull Creek Rainbow Fish. So yeah, I'll do some reading up on those and uh, let you know about those. Um, so I only I only got one uh, one piece of bog wood with the with the plants on. So with this one, it will have to be the spawn and mops. But yeah, a couple of little nice breeding projects for me. Oh well, it's a couple of hours later now. Uh, the fish they seem to have settled down a little bit. Uh, here's the epistos. So hopefully the pistols are up here. Only time will tell. <laughs> Rainbow fish have all gone to the back. No doubt I'll get some more footage of these uh, in the next couple of weeks. So yeah, all in all, quite a good fish keeping day. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, uh, click the like button, leave a comment, and I'll see you all on the next video.